Good evening, class. Welcome, everyone. Nice to have you here. Let's get started because it is exactly the time, okay? So I am so glad that all of you are here. Uh, good evening, Miss Minero. Good evening, Mr. Calderon. Good, good evening. evening. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Abrego Ramirez. Jennifer Beatriz, good evening. Good evening, Miguel, Angel, Santos. Okay, I'm good going evening. to start sharing my PPT while the others join because we have too many things to do today, okay? And here we go. Thanks for joining, just in time. And here we go. Today is September 21st, 2023, and this is the agenda for today. The welcoming as every day. One of you is going to help me reading the objectives. You are going to identify today previous knowledge about human resources. You are going to identify characteristics of human resources in your company. You're going to describe characteristics of a good employee. And then the next activity is describing employees at work and read the information on the human resources personnel. So all of you are familiar with this topic because all of you are active workers, active employees in different companies. Then here, a reminder about homeworks and evaluations, okay? Today is our class number 11. We are going to start our unit number three. And here, let me see. Mm -hmm. Guillermo Eduardo, you are owing me section two and the midterm test, okay? And actually I have them here. I'm going to read them, okay? So Ana Cristina is over with all the homeworks, week number one, two, three, four, the midterm test and the final test. So she has completed all the work on the platform. Andre is not here. Areli, are you here? Areli, you are, let me see. Teacher, yes. I have a question. Um, yes, yes. ¿Hasta qué fecha tenemos para completar lo de la unidad dos? It was supposed yesterday, but you can do it during the week, okay, or the weekend. No problem, oh, okay. but I, because I, I am just uh, reminding you, okay, that you have to do it. And also the midterm test, okay, the okay. midterm test, okay. And then because I was updating the, the, the grades this morning, okay, giving the chance to the other people who didn't finish. And here, but I was kind of uncertain. I was like, maybe they had some problems with the internet connectivity or something like that. And here, let's see, Andre is not here. Areli is not here yet. Carlos Enrique, he is okay with homework one. And we, I'm sharing. I didn't want to share, sorry. Yeah, okay, here. And let's see, Carlos Enrique. It's okay with homework one, homework two, but uh, the exam, you didn't finish it. You have to finish the midterm test. And let me see who else here. Daniel, great. You are over with homework one, homework two, and the midterm test, 100%, no problem. David Emanuel, I don't know if he's here, but he is uh, kind of okay with homework one, two, but he's owing me the midterm test. Daisy, are you here, Daisy? Hello, Daisy, let me see. No, she's not here, but she has covered 100% of uh, homework one, homework two, and the midterm test, okay? Let's see the others. Andre is joining right now. Okay, Andre. And let's see, Andre, I need you to finish homework two and the midterm test, okay? Just a reminder. Edwin Esau, 
you are okay with homework one, homework two, but you didn't finish the midterm test, only the 50%. I need you to finish it. Miss Minero, congratulations because you are over with homework one, homework two. You completed the midterm test, okay? And you already took the, the final test, Miss Minero. But you are owing me homework three and four, okay? But you're okay at the moment, no problem. Evelyn is okay with her evaluations. Mm. Yvonne, are you here, Yvonne? Yvonne, no, not here. But she's okay with homework one, two, but she's owing me the test, the midterm test. Let's see. Okay, over here. I need to check the others. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego, are you here? Guillermo Eduardo, I, I told you, okay? I yes, really teacher. told you, yes, so thank you. Um, Henry Giovanni, Giovanni is okay with homework one, two, and the midterm test, he's a 100%. Jennifer, are you here, Jennifer? You are okay with homework two, homework one, and the midterm test, no problem. Mm. Juan Eduardo Flores, Mr. Flores, are you in class? Okay, later on I'm going to tell him. And let's continue. Catherine, are you here, Catherine? Catherine, Beatriz. Let me check. Catherine, no, not yet. Okay, but Reina, I call your name because of the homeworks, okay? Let me see, okay. Yeah, I'm going to switch to the other part of the list. I have Katia Maria. Katia, are you here? Katia Maria de Leon? Yes, teacher. Okay, Miss, you are okay in homework one? 100%, but in homework two and the midterm test, you need to work on that, okay? You need to finish okay. homework week number two and the midterm test. Maritza Elizabeth, are you here? Congratulations, Maritza Elizabeth. You finish homework one, 100%, homework two, and the midterm test also. Miguel Angel Santos, are you here, Miguel? Because I have to congratulate you. Yes, you, teacher. congratulations, you finish 100% homework one, two, and the midterm test 100%. Excellent, great. Oscar Eduardo Melendez, are you here? Present. Okay, I need you to work on the platform, okay? Homeworks one, homework two, and the midterm test, okay? This week. Okay. Okay, thank you. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Yes, teacher. Okay, the same situation. You have to work on homework week number one, homework week number two, and the midterm test. Reina, congratulations. Okay, okay thank you. Reina, congratulations. You have a hundred percent in homework one, homework two, and the midterm test. Okay. Yvonne, Rosalie Yvonne, are you here? Anyways, you are 100%, uh, Rosalie, in homework yes, one. Excellent. Homework one, homework two, and homework and midterm test. You are 100%. Congratulations for the ones. Sonia, is Sonia here? Sonia, where are you? No, Sonia is not here yet. Because when I, you are like uh, listeners, I don't read your names in full. Um, let's see, Sonia, Susan, Carolina. Good evening, teacher. Okay, Susan, thank you. I need you to continue working in homework number one, homework number two. 
and the midterm test, okay? Okay, okay. please do that. Ursula, are you here, Ursula? Okay. Yes, yes, I'm here, I'm here. Congratulations, Ursula, you got 100% on the midterm test. Also on homework number two and 96% on homework number one, okay? So listen, I, I am uh, telling you to work on that because today we are going to start section three, unit number three. And if you are, you know, like laid back, you know, laid back, like relaxed in the relaxed mood, suddenly you are going to see that very soon you're, we're going to be finishing and the administration is going to be calling you. You have to, you have to, okay? So take your time and do it in a good way. Hello, David. Uh, let's see, Hello, David. Uh -huh. Your performance, I need you to continue working on the platform, okay? On the learning platform. Okay, let me see. David okay. Emanuel, you have 96% of homework one, 80% of homework two, but you have to work on the midterm test, okay? okay Please okay. do that. Okay, very well. So, any question about that? Any comment? No, okay. So, that was... um the comment for today class because i was reminding you about homeworks and evaluations remember you need at least 80 percent in other words to get eight as a whole 75 percent uh -uh, it doesn't work or 70 percent no 80 at least al menos 80 percent okay and the attendance, obviously, because remember, they are going to cross your performance, your academic performance, and your, your attendance. So that's it. And then, okay, thank you so much, because everyone is uh, with your full names. And the expectation is cameras on, but I know that you are, okay, we know. <laughs> the sound off whenever possible, unless you are told not to do so, to do so. in active participation because practice makes perfect. Then here, the attendance, it is expected 100%, as I was telling you, in order to meet the requirements from INSAFORP, yeah? It is not from Inglés Corporativo, neither on me. It is a requirement from INSAFORP. And let's take advantage of the scholarships, okay? Because it is an investment. It is, you know, uh, well, the expectation is 120 minutes in class, but sometimes it doesn't depend on you or on me. It depends on the internet. But when you have the internet good, get back. And I'm going to take, as every day, the attendance twice, approximately at 8.20 and at 9.40. Remember, you have to say, present here, here I am. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me for one-on-one -on -one session. Yesterday, I was expecting Reina to stay with me, but she went away. So I took another participant, Mr. Esau, and he stayed with me. Is that correct, Edward? Edwin? Yeah. And Hola. then, hello, you stayed with me yesterday, right? For the one-on-one -on -one session, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. And here, class, okay, microphones off, camera on, the two chats available, breakout rooms available, and when you are in the breakout rooms, the ask for help bottom is available and respect above all, because that is what we deserve as human beings, as partners and as classmates, yeah? And that is, this is what I was telling you, class. Okay, today is September 21st. So we are starting our week number three. Yeah, we are uh, beginning the 75% of the level of the course. Very soon you are going to be in low intermediate. This is the last course for basic. Yeah, so you need to continue working it 
and practicing as much as possible. That is the objective. And then here, one volunteer to help me read uh, these uh, objectives. Only one. My teacher. Okay, thank you, sir, please. General objective. Participants will be all able to describe a specific information of the human resource staff organization and their responsibilities within their department. A specific objective. Participants will be able to dis discuss specific information of the human resource the staff organization in their responsibilities within the department. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will identify specific information of the human resource, the staff organization and their responsibilities with the department. Within the department means inside the department of the human resources, yes? You have at least been in touch with human resources, yeah? Because that is the area that is in charge of recruiting and interviewing the potential employees for the company, okay? Said that we're going to start, but we're going to have a reminder on what we did yesterday class. Yesterday we had a general feedback, okay, on what we have been studying. But this feedback is focused on a structure that you learned since you were in basic one, which is the simple present tense. Simple present tense. Okay, now I need you to tell me if you remember in which cases we use the simple present tense. When do you use the simple present tense to describe what do we use the simple present tense? We use the simple present tense to describe, we hold it, to, okay, to describe routines, yes or no? To describe routines, what else? Habits, another function of the simple present tense, General truths, yeah? To describe routines, habits, and general truths. That is the purpose of the simple present tense. Okay, another uh, aspect that we need to feedback for the simple present tense, which is the modal auxiliary that we use to structure the sentences in the simple present tense. Do you remember? The modal auxiliary that we use most likely for the construction of sentences in simple present tense. Hello. Do or does. Do. Okay. It is do. For. We use do for the pronouns I, you, we, they. they. Yes or no? Mm hmm so the verb ends in O, but this is a modal auxiliary by itself. It doesn't have meaning. No meaning when you translate the sentence from English to Spanish. When we use it for the third person singular, because the verb ends in O, we add ES and then we get DAS. So we say DAS, HE, SHE, IT. Yes or no? This is for questions. In affirmative, we don't use the modal auxiliary. But in negative, we use don't, correct? For I, you, we, they. For he, she, it, what is the negative? Doesn't. Okay, great. Doesn't. 
doesn't for it. He, she, it. This is generally. But what happens when we have in the sentence the verb to be? When we have in the sentence the verb to be, we don't use the verb do or does or doesn't or don't know because the verb to be has double function. It has the function of the principal verb, but also it is a modal auxiliary, yes? If we say they are your parents. This is an example. Now let's change this sentence into a question. Are they your parents? Excellent. Great. Are they your parents? Yes. And question mark. If you notice, I didn't use do or does because the modal auxiliary is are. Yes. But if we use another verb, for example, let's see, um, you, okay, here, you read books um, in the morning, for example, in the morning. In that sentence, you don't see the verb to be, correct? The main verb is read, correct? Yes. So now let's change this sentence into a question. Do you read the books in the do morning? You, excellent. Do you do you read books in the morning? In question mark. Yes. Because the verb is read, and in this sentence, we don't have any modal auxiliary. So when you don't have any modal auxiliary, use do or does. In this case, we have used do because the subject is you. And according to this, we use do for I, you, we, and they. Is that okay? But what happens when we say uh, she learns Japanese. Let's change this sentence into a question. Doesn't she learn Japanese? Okay, the auxiliary is does. Does she learn Japanese? Notice that here, when we use Okay, the modal auxiliary, we don't add the letter S to the verb. Why not? Because you are using the modal auxiliary. Is that okay? Yes. And in negative, yes. no, she doesn't. She doesn't learn Japanese. In the negative, we don't use the letter S either because we say, no, she doesn't learn Japanese. Okay? So, this here affirmative. In, no, this is negative. No, she doesn't. Ah, negative. Uh -huh. It's, uh -huh. No, it's question. Uh -huh. No, it is the answer in negative. In the negative sentence, notice we don't add the letter S because here you are using the modal auxiliary doesn't. Yes? Okay. Because we use doesn't, the modal auxiliary, the verb is in the base form, natural. You use the letter S for third person singular to the verb, but we don't use modal auxiliary. Is that okay? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, acá no usamos verbo auxiliar, por lo tanto le agregamos la S al verbo, ¿sí? Si terminara en O, le vamos a agregar ES. Is that okay? Is necessary the double negative and no and doesn't. Yes, because here you have no comma. She doesn't learn Japanese. And actually, this is full answer, but the short answer should be no, 
she doesn't. That is the short answer. But you mean that if it is correct to say just no, is that your point? No. No. You, you may say no, that's okay. But grammatically, it is incorrect. It is informal. Because according to your point, the double negative, no comma, she doesn't, you have to. Yeah? There is no problem. No, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. That is. Or yes, she does. No, she doesn't. No, they don't. Okay? No, we don't. No, you don't. Okay? Any other question or comment about it? Remember that through the practice, okay? And we are going to be identifying it in the readings in order to reinforce this structure because to some of you probably it is a little bit confusing. But that is natural. It is not only for you, okay? Many... Um, English learners uh, face this problem because when we contrast the grammar, Spanish and English, it is a little bit different, okay? May I erase this part? Yes? Yes. Okay, here we go. And now let's continue. I'm going to stop sharing here. Hello, Miss Jill Yvonne. And let's continue. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Welcome. Thanks. All of you are really welcome. Let's continue in here. We okay. What are you going to do right now? You are going to identify the uh, the previous knowledge that you have about human resources. What are you going to do right now? You have to identify the previous knowledge that you have about you a. Uh, human resources. You are going to work in groups of three, okay? And you have to write as many words as we have learned during the week in the previous session, but you have to try in that list to look for one or at least two words that you consider can be associated to human resources. If you say no, there is no word that is uh, associated to human resources or that you cannot use in the human resources company, that's okay, no problem, yes? For example, um, in the reading that we had yesterday, I could say schedule, side work. Do you consider that schedule is a word that people in human resources use? Yes or no? Yes, they do or no, they don't. Do they use this word schedule in the human resources staff? Yes, they do. And what about side work? Side work also, yeah? Because it is an extra position, an extra job that you have. Maybe in the company or maybe in another company, okay? So right now, I'm going to give you five minutes, class, so you are going to um, write as many words as you can find in the manual, but only in, in week number, number two, yes, unit number two, and then you say, ah, this word might work in the human resources stuff, that they use that vocabulary, okay? But before we go, I'm going to... Take your attendance because it is almost the time. Yeah, actually, it is the time. So here we go, class. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, Ana Cristina, are you here? Cristi? Uh, Andre? Oh my God, I lost the connectivity. I don't listen to my students. Everybody's absent. Arely, Isabel, absent. Three students absent. Um, Carlos Enrique Rivas. Carlos Enrique, absent. Daniel Ernesto Membreño, 
Good evening, teacher. Thank you. You're here. David Emanuel. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Daisy Carolina. Present, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, Daisy. Edwin Esaú. Present, teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Miss Carla Minero. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Evelyn Jamilet. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. Bon Menjibar. Present. Thank you, Miss. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Henry Giovanni, are you here? Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Jennifer? Present, Jennifer Miss. Okay. Juan Eduardo Flores, Mr. Flores? Present, teacher. Catherine Beatriz? I don't listen to Catherine. Katia Maria? Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Maritza Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Maritza, for answering. Miguel Angel Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. Noé. Present teacher. Thank you, Noé. Oscar Eduardo Martinez Melendez Present. Martinez. Oscar, Humberto. Present teacher. Okay, now you're here. Reina Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Reina. Yvonne, Rosalie Yvonne. Rosalie Yvonne, absent. Sonia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Sonia, just in time. Susana Carolina. Present oh, teacher. Okay, Susan. Ursula Esteli. Present teacher. Here. Okay, class. I need you to tell me the following. What are you going to do right now in the breakout rooms? Do you remember what I told you? ¿Qué van a ir a hacer a los breakout rooms? Yes, we, are. we try to search words mm -hmm. used in the human resource department. Excellent. But only in week number two, unit number two, okay? Yes? Only unit number two. You look for words that can be used in human resources, yeah? Because it is your previous knowledge. And now I'm going to, to ask you to join the different groups. Is that okay? Here we go. Okay, get ready. And later we're going to, um, to share that list. Okay, I sent you the invitation class. Join your groups, please. Five minutes to create that list. Let me see. Because some cases only listeners in. Go to your groups, I sent you the invitation. Again, I sent you again the invitation. Please, let's work on that. Take advantage of the connectivity and the power, the electricity, please.
Ana Cristina, thank you for working on the platform, okay? You are over with all the homeworks and exams. Okay, see you. Andre, go to your group. Okay, here you are available, Esteli, Edward, Flores, and Noé. I don't know if Evelyn is going to have a chance to participate with the partners and Katia. If you have a chance, please participate with your classmates, okay? Only in, in unit two, but yes, only in unit two. Okay. okay. For example, a schedule. Um, what is the other one? Well, in the in the in the reading that you had yesterday for the schedule at the restaurant manager, you are going to find many words. Yes, opening, closing. Yeah. Okay. 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 And do you remember the word, the expression that I told you that it is a synonym for check in and check out? Clock in, clock out. Clock yes. Out. Because they check that, yeah. When we clock in or we clock out. Okay. Good. Okay. See you. Sobre las actividades. Hello, teacher. Okay. I, uh, we need your your help. Okay. I don't, uh, I don't comprehend your, the activity. Okay. The instruction, I'm going to share it. You are going to, uh, to feedback, okay, here. The purpose is that you identify your previous knowledge about human resources. So you are going to work of groups, in groups, okay, of three or four or five. In this case, I have active one, two, three people. And you are going to write down a list of words, as many words as you have learned during the week. But in those words, you are going to check the ones that you consider the staff in the human resources office use. For example, schedule, yes. Yesterday, there was a phrase, clock in, clock out. And I told you that that was a synonym for check in and check out, yes. Because they verify if you checked out or checked in on time. Yes or no? David? Hello, David. Eh, Van a escribir bueno, una, una lista de palabras uh -huh. de vocabulario de las que, que hemos estado la trabajando semana. en la semana 2, ¿ok? Unidad 2. Uh -huh. Luego, cuando ya la tengan como equipo, van a seleccionar las que ustedes consideran que es parte del vocabulario de trabajo de las personas que están en recursos humanos. Por ejemplo, clock in, clock out, because they verify if you clock in on time, yes or no. Ellos verifican si usted marcó a tiempo o no, ¿sí? Su entrada mm -hmm. y su salida, ¿ok? So those are okay. the ones. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, okay. teacher. Okay. Thank you. For example, you, I was writing here a schedule. A schedule, they check our schedules, yes or no? Ellos revisan nuestros horarios, yes? Uh -huh. And I also wrote side work, which is an extra work that you might have, okay? or they assign you. Okay. okay, five minutes for that. Thank you, teacher. Okay, my pleasure. My Okay, niñas. Only with girls. No, es que para que justamente le, la, la invocamos. Okay. Hola, teacher. Aquí estamos Hello. discutiendo. 
Ajá. que no entendimos <ríe> la indicación. Okay. Lo que pasa es que me confundió no porque dijo porque... que era el unidad 2, Correcto, pero me así con es. eso. Así pero es. es que, y de es que unidad 2 estamos explico, viendo... Le explico, le Díganos. explico. Ustedes van a hacer un listado como equipo del vocabulario que hemos practicado en la unidad 2, sección 2, ¿verdad? Luego, cuando ah, ya tengan okay. esa lista de vocabulario, van a tic, van a chequear las palabritas que ustedes consideran que la gente, el staff en recursos humanos, utilizan a diario, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, schedule. Ok. Eh, ayer estábamos viendo clock in, clock out, ¿yes? Yes. Which is a synonym for uh, check in and check out because they keep an eye on your times. If you arrive on time, if you live on time, ¿yes? Or if you leave the office uh, or your workplace before they discount, yes. Entonces eso yes, es lo que van a hacer, ¿de acuerdo? Yes, yes. Okay, see you. Now I understand. Okay, great. Bye. Okay, class. Here I am. Hi, teacher. Hi. No nos quedó claro lo que íbamos a hacer. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, and you check in your in your manual, okay? And you write as a group a list of vocabulary that we have been practicing. Vamos a escribir una lista de palabras, de vocabulario que hemos estado trabajando en la sección 2, unidad 2. When you have that list ready, you're going to start checking. Comienza a chequear las palabras que consideran que el staff en Human Resources usa. ¿Ustedes consideran que el staff de Human Resources utiliza poco, mucho o nada la palabra schedule? ¿Horario? Sí, lo utilizan bastante. Yes, of course. So you see, and there are some other words. Yeah, for example, yesterday in the reading, you are going to find many words that people use um, in the in the human resources office, yes? So you write the list of vocabulary and probably you're going to find only five. And you say, we found that only five words probably the people at human resources use. And that's okay. No problem. Okay? Okay. Sí, comprendimos y sí. Yes. Okay, a little bit clearer. Un poquitito más claro, okay? Crean una lista como equipo de palabras que se recuerdan que hemos estado trabajando en la unidad 2. Y luego de esas van a seleccionar, las marcan, las que creen que la, el staff, el equipo de Human Resources usa a diario en la oficina, ¿ok? En relación al trabajo, obviamente. Okay, ok, so here we have, y solo ustedes dos están porque Daisy y Ana Cristina no les van a aportar. Ok, do you want to stay here or do you want me to move you to another group? ¿Están bien acá, Pero, chicos? Creo ¿O que preferirían sí que los transfiera a otro equipo? Porque solo son dos los activos. Uh -huh. No, yo también. Que que... Ah, ok. This is going to help you. Ok. Es que el micrófono uh, por ratito me da problema. Ok. Let's produce, ok. Four okay. minutes. Four minutes, ok. Great, great. Interviewing. Interviewing. Finish it. Ok, finished. Yes. Almost, 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 almost. almost. You may say almost. a synonym for almost, kind of, kind of, okay, kind, kind of. of, kind of. But you join the sounds kind of, and maybe yes, in some places or, or in the songs or in the movies, you're going to find that they write it like this. Okay, it is the full form is kind of, but you listen. Kind. Kinda, when they join the uh -huh. words, kinda, kind of, kinda. Okay, kinda. kinda. Okay, here, okay, let me see, I am missing. Kinda. 
kind of. Kind okay. of is the full form yeah. and slowly. But you're going to listen kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Mm -hmm. so it is you, more or less your vocabulary. Almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. your it vocabulary is every day for me. It, it is you. every day vocabulary. Okay. In two yes. minutes, we yes. get back. Thank you. Okay. Continue working. Okay. 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 Um, uh, uh, uh. Almost finished. Hello. More or less. Yes, sure. I have a five five words. Five words. Okay, and here only two people, Carla and you. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Adelie, creo que también está disponible. Ah, okay. Is disponible. Okay, but in this group, okay. Sorry, I'm a phantom. Adelie, Andre. Five quirks, quirks, close to close to two. Finish, guys. Finished, yes, Ibon. Okay, great. This group is very active, very productive. So I think that we're going to get back so we can share. Yes, maybe you are going to have coincidences with the other teams. But here we go. Okay, let's return. Okay, class, here we go. We're going to share. I need volunteers in order to share your words. Probably two or three or five words, no problem. That's great. Okay, it doesn't mean that you need to write oh, many words. Okay, David, Emmanuel. Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, we, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six words. Okay, please read them. Select personnel, weekly schedule, mark check-in or, or check-out time, mm -hmm. interview, training, decimal of employees. Excellent. Very well. Great. Congratulations. You did a nice job. Somebody else? In another team, do you have different words? Knock, knock. Are you there or here? Yo. Okay, Danny, go ahead. Mm, recruit personal in, in steel. Okay. Eh, contratar, no sé cómo es. Hire. Hire. 
hire. Mm -hmm. Like personal, uh, train, instruct, and despedir también. Fire. 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 Okay, very well. Congratulations. That's all, or do we have another volunteer, another participant? Me. Okay, Miss Yvonne. Uh, Reschedule, employees, marketing, staff, strategies, workplace, and routine. Routine, excellent. Congratulations to all of you. You did a great job. One more, that's okay. That's okay? Me, teacher. Okay, Esteli. I have check in. Oh, sorry, clock in, clock out, clock back, shift, staff, short, employees. Assistant, manager, stay in charge, supervise, weekly, personal, workplace, interview, both, police, task, presentation, timetable, activities, branches, strategies. Very well, congratulations. Yeah. A lot of, so you see, you have your knowledge, yeah? You have knowledge, you have vocabulary, but you have to practice. Don't be shy, don't be afraid. Excellent, that is the uh, beginning for our lesson today. And then I have this, just these two ones, right? But right now, class here, we're going to answer to these questions, but I'm going to share it with you via, via manual so you can have a better, because I can magnify it in there. Yeah. Okay, this is the, the feedback that we have at the beginning, the review of what we did yesterday, the simple present tense. And now class here, welcome to unit number three. So here the purpose, as I told you in the objectives and at the beginning, is that you will be able to identify a specific information of the human resources staff organization and their responsibilities within the department. But I ask you, what do you know about the human resources department in your company? Does anybody in this class work in the human resources uh, staff. Someone? No, nobody. Does anybody work in the human resources department? Nobody. Okay, here we're going to learn. And if you notice, okay, this is, our question, what do you know about the human resources department in your company? That is the question you have to answer. What do you know about what they do? What do they do in your company? What do you think? Okay, let's write a list together. Brainstorming your answers. And you have in the vocabulary the answers, okay? Inter so, interview. They interview potentially yes. potential employees. Yes, interview. very well. Okay. Indu induction. Okay, they work on induction um, trainings. Oh, yes. Yes. Training the new employees. They train new employees very well. Another activity? Hey, helper. Training. Make, make payroll. Uh, yes, they make they make the uh, or check the payrolls. In some cases, they make the payrolls. In some other cases, they just check. Why do they check them? In order to see if there is going to be a discount for somebody. Yes. 
what, what else do they check? What else do they check? ¿Qué más revisan? They in search for mm -hmm. realities activities for the personal. Okay. Or celebrating. Ah, yes, activities. social activities, yes. yes. Okay. And uh, they, um, how can I say, they book the trainings, they book celebrations, yes, and vacations too, yes or no? Yeah, yes. they give the authorization. And what about when you get sick? Are they in charge of that too? When the doctor disabilities you because you are yes. sick? Yes. Okay. Very well. Yes. They... Serían las bajas médicas. Mm -hmm. That's Sería. it. La incapacidad ah, company... de... en inglés. Disabilities. Mm -hmm. Disabilities. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my company, human resource putting in practice a new opportunity for becas and every every employees. Okay, excellent. They are in charge of providing the new the scholarships, yes, for employees. In other words, professional development. Yeah, that's it. It's correct. Uh, very well, great, excellent. So you see, they work a lot, right? And also they fire people, yeah? And they pay your time when you are fired. Okay, now let's continue. And here, what are we going to do? Look at this conversation. Mr. Chang is looking for two employees at RC Company. Listen to the teacher read the conversation. Then you are going to practice with a partner. And the conversation is between Mr. Chang and Dorian. The conversation goes like this. Excuse me, I am looking for uh, Mrs. Ms. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock, okay? Now class, I need two participants. One will read Mr. Chan and the other one will read Dorian. Okay, Miguel, you are going to read Mr. Chan and Carla, you're going to read Dorian. Repeat, repeat the, the, the pronunciation. Recruiting. Recruitment, 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 and recruiters, 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 recruiters. Okay, okay. One, two, three, begin. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She's the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides writing administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Now you switch roles. Carla okay. read is Mr. Chan and uh, he's going to read Dorian. Go for it. One, two, three. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the requirement coordinator. 
I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the Chingos recruiters. I understand. And does Miss Mr. Salgado work here? What does she what does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. What you are going to do in the breakout rooms is exactly what your classmates did. You are going to read the first time, the second time you switch roles, okay? You exchange roles. When you finish that, then you are going to answer these two questions. Is that okay? But remember, you have to take turns in order to participate reading. Everybody, if it is possible, has to practice reading. Practice makes perfect. Let's take advantage of the scholarships given by INSAFORP, okay? So, do you have any question about the activity? No. No, no question. Okay. okay, here we go. Remember, we're working at page, okay, let me see, 29. Everybody has the, the conversation or do you want me to share it via WhatsApp? Is that okay in the manual or do you need it via WhatsApp, the conversation? I have the manual. Okay, great. That is the expectation. Now, here we go. Okay, join your groups, please. I share the invitation. Okay, remember, even though you are listeners class, I need you to join the groups because if you stay here, you don't get the minutes of attendance because here the platform is telling me Ana Cristina Hernandez Serrano not joined. Oscar Eduardo Melendez not joined. Evelyn Jamilet not joined, okay? So please. Hi, teacher. Hi, only Daisy and and Edwin. Daisy and Edwin. Manual. She doesn't have the manual. Daisy no lo tiene. Okay, I'm going to try to to. Okay, okay, hold it. I'm going to. Okay. La página. It is um, 32, I think, correct? But I'm going to share it via WhatsApp right now, okay? Thank you. Okay, here and here, hold it. 32. I think it is 32. Okay, you have it via WhatsApp, people. 32. Yes, I think so. Oscar Eduardo, Edwin Esaú, you are three, okay? Take turns in order to practice the conversation. Okay. Let me check. I am sorry. It's 29. It's 29. Okay, so sorry. 29, Miss Daisy. But you have it via WhatsApp, okay? So let's begin class. Okay. Excuse me. He returned at one o'clock. Okay. okay, we finish. Now... Uh, the other partner? 
your turn. But how the problem don't change the page 28, 29. 29. But I shared the, the, the conversation via WhatsApp, Edward Flores. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Please, read with Miguel. Please read with Miguel. Arely. <laughs> it's your turn to read the conversation with Miguel Angel. Arely, are you available? Maybe. Well, if you want, I, I can read Miguel. Okay, Miguel and Carla, please, Carla, do that. Okay. Go ahead, Miguel. Okay. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. Administrative support for team of recruited recruited. I understand. And does Miss Salgado, Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? <clears throat> he returned at one o'clock. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, I am looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. Is the recruitment co coordinator? I see. Excuse me. I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She's the recruitment coordinator. Busca trabajo, no. Hello. Um, no teacher. Uh, did you finish the practice, all of you? Yeah, yes, teacher. Yes, um, and did, no, did you no. answer the questions? Ah, okay, great. No problem. The question two, teacher. Okay, question one and two. Okay, great. The two questions. Question one, list. Ready. It is already. Ah, question, okay, question great. Two, you are looking for two. okay, great, excellent. Uh, what what do you think Mr. Chan does? Es que Mr. Chan solo es que llega a buscar a la a la a la a la Miss Chavez. Yes, but because of the questions, you have to use your imagination. What do you think? ¿Qué piensas? No que hace. In your opinion, what does he do? En opinión de ustedes, ¿qué es lo que él hace? ¿Cuál es su función? Uh -huh. Por el tipo de pregunta que él hace, ¿ok? Basically. 
she provided recruiting administrator support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay. Okay, now, who is, who is uh, Mr. Chavez? We are answered the question. Yes. Okay. Um, I think she's the recruitment coordinator. Yes, yes, yes. What do you do seeing Mr. Ch Chan does? Mr. Chan. Mr. Chan. I don't know. Oh. Obviously, Mr. Chang doesn't work there, yes? But in your opinion, what do you think according to his visit and the questions that he asked, what do you think is uh, his occupation? Probably he is, and you say, okay. Maybe probably he, he wants to work at uh, RC company. I don't know. And the others, what do you think, Noe and Mr. Flores? What do you think? Do you agree with me, Sesteli, or do you have a different opinion? Because it is what do you think? It is your opinion. The answer is not in the conversation. You have to think to create your about. Uh huh. Probably he is. Or he is not, okay? It is your opinion, what you think. What do you think? Uh, where can I reach him? Sorry? Where can I reach him? Where can I reach him? Donde lo puedo encontrar? Mm -hmm. Well, teacher. Okay. Do you have the answers for the two questions? Yes. Yes. Okay. So it means that you are ready. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Okay, let's get back. And then we discuss. Thank you for participating in practicing the conversation. That's good. You learn vocabulary.
Very well, class. Here we go. Let's discuss. Okay, we're going to read again the conversation in order to have fresh the information. I'm going to ask, uh, let me see from the list. No. Ah, Jennifer is as a listener today. Miguel Angel, are you available? Yes, it is. Okay, you are going to read Mr. Chang. I'm going to look for Ah, Evelyn is a listener. I don't know if she's going to participate, but another one. Daisy Carolina, are you available? Daisy Carolina? Daisy? No, she's not available. Okay, let's look for someone else. Reina? Reina Elizabeth? Yes. Okay, Reina, you are going to read Dorian. Let's begin. One, two, three. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiting. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado is the talent management coach. Sumpa. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Thank you so Thank much. You. No, that's okay. Only one. So thank you. I appreciate okay. your enthusiasm. But now, based on that class, who is Miss Chavez? Who is she? Recruitment coordinator. Okay, she is uh, the recruitment coordinator. And now the second question is about your personal opinion. What do you think Mr. Chang does? Remember, this Mr. is the Chang. Uh -huh. Sorry, Mr. Chang is looking for two employees. He's recruitment, recruitment man. Human. Okay, let's see. Thank you for your opinions. Another opinion? Somebody else who would like to give an opinion in order to answer what do you think Mr. Chang does? Let's analyze the conversation. Mr. Chang says, I am looking for Ms. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Yes, blah, blah, blah. And then he says, I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? He's asking about Miss Chavez's responsibilities. Yes. And then uh, Dorian answers, basically, blah, blah, blah. She answers the question. Later, Mr. Chang says, I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Okay. Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. He asks specifically for two people. Yes, two employees. But the question is, can you tell me who she is? She is blah, blah, blah. Okay, or what? Can you tell me about her responsibilities? about Ms. Chavez's responsibilities. And Mr. Salgado, what does he do? Okay. Oh, he's the talent management consultant. So the questions are specific. What do you think he does? As occupation, what does he do? In other words, what does he do? What does Mr. Chang do? What do you think? Probably he wants to work here. 
Mm, fine, fine work. Okay, she says that probably he wants, he would like to work in this company, but he is looking for two people specifically and he knows the name and the last name. And if you are maybe new in a company, you don't know that information. Or maybe if you have a, a reference, yes? In that case, yes. Another opinion? What do you think Mr. Chang does? Probably the general manager. Yes, probably the, the general manager of the company. Mm -hmm. Or okay. another possibility? Manager of human resources. Probably, yes, the general manager of human resources. All the answers are acceptable or maybe a coordinator, yes. Or what about if he is an auditor? Could it be possible? An external auditor. Remember the companies have the auditors in the company, but they receive external, okay? Auditors that are not in the office in order to check if everything is working okay. So there are different possibilities many possibilities because and all of them are acceptable all of them are good because what do you think you are saying what you think and that is okay because it is your opinion and and we don't have here clear what his occupation is okay now let's move to the next activity class mm -hmm. read the information on the human resources personal okay then answer the questions below. Here we have one, two, three questions, okay? And you have a recruitment coordinator, benefit specialist, talent management consultant, human resources generalist. These are the information about the recruitment coordinator. This is the information about the benefit specialist in the company. And this is the information about the talent management consultant. And obviously this one, the human resources generalist. You have to read, okay, in groups, analyze the information and answer these questions. It's only three questions, okay? In a few words, you are going to summarize and answer the questions. I ask you, is the instruction clear? Yeah. Sure. Because you have it. Uy. Where is it? Where did it move? Where did it go? No, not yet. Okay, here. Read the information on the human resources personnel. So it means that. These four positions belong to the human resources staff, yes? In the human resources personnel, you can find a recruitment coordinator, a benefit specialist, or maybe more than one. Talent management consultant, maybe one, two, or three, I don't know. And the human resources generalist. Those four people work for human resources. They have here their information and you have to answer the questions. Considering the information that you have in these boxes, okay? Are we clear? Maritza, are the instructions clear? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm going to be monitoring your groups, okay? I'm going to uh, share with you the invitation. Here we go. Okay, go to your groups, please, and begin with the activity. Teacher, le di cancelar en vez de aceptar. Uy, uy, I'm going to cry for that, okay. So uh, we're going to wait mm -hmm. until everybody, I, Davey, 
let me see in which group were you i'm going to look for your name david where were you i group number six. six yeah group number six so i'm going to move you to another group and then i get you back to your group okay Okay, teacher, thank you. Oh, okay, but open your eyes big right now. Okay, I'm sending you the invitation in this moment. Okay, baby. El coordinador de reclutamiento. Uh -huh. ¿Qué? Coordinador organiza organiza well, schedule of candidate interview. Okay. Entonces sería organize schedule and candidate interview and coordinate internal and internet job posting and maybe work with um, support and recruiting team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe because the other things are uh, for example, bachelor degree about the her or or the study and the other uh, experience has five years of experience and the other mm. was on Wednesday was part time. I think that are como requisito, pero no, 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 no match with the question, what does the recruitment coordinator do? I think it's about the task, the coordinator. Maybe. And I don't know if you are agree with me. Question number two. Mm -hmm. What is the recruitment for the neighbor experience? Mm. Ah, that's um, um the answer I think is past um, five years of experience. Past five years of experience. Yes, and, five years. Um what is the Number two, when does the recruitment coordinator work? Work uh, has a degree in mana mana yet men
que esa sería la segunda. What is the recruitment coordinator experience? Five, What can we can say? five years of experience. Y la tercera, when does he recruitment coordinator work? When does... Ahí sería cuando Perdón. Las preguntas, bueno, las tres preguntas hablan del coordinador, que hace el coordinador de tratamiento. ¿Cuál es, cuál es la experiencia del coordinador de tratamiento y cuánto trabaja? Son las preguntas. Sí. Entonces, si, si pensamos en la primera que hace, sería... Organize schedule of candidate interviews. Eh, también open and post. Ay, no sé cómo se dice requisito. No. Requisitos. Requisitos. Ah, requisitos. Requisitos. Eh, uh -huh. Solicitudes, creo que dice. Coordinó oferta de trabajo, sería coordinar. Internet. Esa sería la respuesta de la pregunta uno, digo yo. Ok. Eh, Podemos escoger quizás unas tres. Ajá. Se pudiera uh -huh. escribir las tres porque también la, la otra que entra ahí, pienso, es to work with and support a recruitment team. ¿Cuál es la experiencia? ¿Vale? Okay. ¿Cuál, ajá, ¿Cuál es la experiencia del coordinador? Ahí creo que sería, la experiencia es de eh, cinco años. Has five ajá. years of experience. Uh -huh. sí. ¿Y cuánto trabaja? Dice que trabaja... Oh, todos los días. Uh, no. Weekdays. De lunes a viernes. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Todos los días. Ok. Trabajo. Okay. Uh, sería 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. 3 years of in this position, position, position. Position. Teacher, one question. La, eh, pero lo voy a decir en español. <laughs> este, las tres preguntas, vamos a aplicarlo a los cuatro puestos. Okay, so, here we go. Okay. We, we have to analyze the questions. Answer the questions made by an external auditor. <laughs> Mire, aquí le estoy diciendo lo que el Mr. Chang hace. Un auditor externo. ¿Verdad? Answer uh -huh. the questions made by an external auditor. What does the recruitment coordinator do? Acá le está hablando solo del sí. coordinador. De ah, 
But que, number eh, three, when does the recruitment coordinator work? And then you have to read the information here. Acá yes, está, yes. por eso tiene que ver. Has five yes. years of experience, works on weekdays. Acá está. Eh, ok, teacher, ya, ya contestamos las tres preguntas puntuales, como dice ahí. Lo que yo le consultaba es que si vamos a hacer las mismas tres preguntas, digamos, cambiándole el puesto de, del otro, de, de las mismas preguntas para no, otro país. No, 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 no. Ah, Ajá, ah, pues, ya, uh -huh. ah, pues, ready, ready, teacher. Ok, great. Yeah. Because the, uh, the external auditor is giving direct questions. Asking mm -hmm. direct questions. Está haciendo preguntas directas. Yes. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. And here we can find the answer for this question. For number two, what do you think Mr. Chang does? He is the external auditor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because okay, if teacher. you notice in the conversation here, ah, uh, can you tell me who she is? She is the recruitment coordinator. Yeah. And the other one? Uh, Mr. What and does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? He is the talent management consultant. And do we have here a talent management consultant? He wants to talk to people from uh, human resources uh, department. Yes? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. We have the answer. We the have the answer ready. The three answers. Okay. You are ready. Um, Great, excellent. Okay. Okay, class. So we are going to return. And the next step is that you are going to apply the, the questions to the other positions. Is that okay? Because this is the first practice. Okay, let's return. Thank you. Thank you, Glass, for coming back. I'm going to call your names in order to take your second attendance. Okay, so let's get ready. Ana Cristina, are you here? Andre, Andre, are you there? Arely Isabel. Present. Thank you, Miss Arely. Carlos Enrique. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Thank you, Andre. Carlos Enrique Rivas is absent today. Dani, Daniel Ernesto. Present, I'm here. Great. David Emanuel. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Daisy Caroline. Daisy Carolina. Daisy is absent at the moment. Edwin Esaú. Here, teacher. Ok. El, eh, Miss Carla Minero. Ok. So you see, I call you. 
But no, eh, Gustavo. But we are here, yes or no? No, eh, Gustavo is asking for help. Maybe he was, he lost the connectivity. But I cannot leave you here. Okay, I'm going to write to him via WhatsApp. Where is he? Hey. Is he, ah, he's back. <laughs> no, eh, what happened? Me voy a dejar enterado. No, you didn't get back. Huh? Because I, <laughs> okay, no problem. Thank you, Carla. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. I thought that you had lost the connectivity. Evelyn? Are you here, Evelyn? Are you there? Where are you, Evelyn? Okay, she's not here. Then Yvonne? Present. Thank you, Guillermo Eduardo. Guillermo? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Henry Giovanni? Giovanni? Henry Giovanni lost the connectivity. He was here. Um, Jennifer Beatriz. Thank you, Jennifer. Juan Eduardo. Juan Eduardo Flores, Mr. Flores. Are you here? At the moment, he's not here. Yes. Here. Ah, okay. But you don't answer. Catherine Beatriz. Estaba encerrado en el equipo uno todavía. Really? And what happened to you? Everybody got back. Juan Eduardo Flores is here. Catherine? Catherine. Present teacher. Okay. Present. Katia? Okay, Katia says that she is a listener today. Maritza Elizabeth, I can see you. You're an active participant. Miguel Ángel? Present teacher. Active participant. Noé. Present teacher. Active participant. Ay, you were in, in like in prison in, in room number one. I know, never happened before. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo Present. Meléndez. Yes. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Okay. Reina. Ajá, Reina, hello. Rosalí Bon. Rosalí. Today she was absent. Sonia. Just in time. Susan Carolina. Susana. Thank you, Miss. And Esteli. Okay. Present teacher, present. Yes, thank you. Now please activate the camera. I'm going to take the picture of you, the ones who are here. Maybe someone else is in the in the room, in the breakout room still. But no, because I close it because everybody got back. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice smile, please. Today is Friday. No, Thursday, tomorrow, Friday. Okay, but in your imagination and a nice smile. One, two, three. Here we go. Happy face. Mm. Say yes. Or beautiful. When you say beautiful, your mouth is, you know, just a little. Okay, so here, let me see. Wait, it is in here. Yes. Okay. Now, class, here we go. Remember that first we need to read in order to understand what people are demanding from us. Yes. The instruction is read the information on the human resources. Okay. Personnel. 
then answer the questions. We have the recruitment coordinator. I need one volunteer to help me reading the information about the recruitment coordinator, okay? One volunteer to read. Oscar Eduardo, please. Thank you. Okay, uh, recruitment co coordinator, bachelor's degree, organ organizes schedules of candidates' interviews, open and post request requisitions, requisitions, coordinates internal and, and internal job postings, has a degree in management, works with a support and recruiting team, has five years of experience, works on weekdays, works part-time. Okay, thank you so much. Now, thank you. Another participant to read the benefit the specialist information. Only one. Hello, active participation to read. Don't be shy, don't be afraid. Thank you, David Emanuel. Okay, teacher. Benefit specialist, bachelor degree, develops and man maintains competitive, uh, progressive and proactive competition, competition plan, plans, plans, uh, creates cost effective benefit programs to provide motivation, incentive, and reward for effective performance. Works on weekdays, part-time job, three years of experience in this position. Okay, three years of experience in this position. And now we have the information about the talent management consultant. One volunteer to read, please. Okay, who is going to read? Well, teacher. Uh, this one, talent management consultant. Talent manager consultant, bachelor degree, responsible for leadership development, career development, assessment performance, learning, learning and development. Work on Saturdays, full full time job, one year of, of experience. Thank you so much. Very well. And now another participant to read the human resources generalist information. Who? Me. Okay, Miss Catherine. Thank you. Human resources generalist, uh, bachelor degrees. Uh, maintain knowledge of legal require, requirement mm -hmm. and government reporting regulation affecting human resources. Uh, respond to inquiries regarding policies, policies, policies uh, procedure and program. Uh, works on Saturday part-time job in five years of experience in similar position. Very well, thank you. Great, congratulations for your participation. And now here, let's answer the questions made by an external auditor. Number one, what does the recruitment coordinator do? What does he do, class? Who wants to answer? What does the recruitment coordinator do? Okay, I'm waiting for the answer. What does he do, class? I organize, organize schedules of candidate interviews, coordinate internal and internet job posting and works with the support and the recruiting team. Excellent, very well. Now, question number two, let's see. What is the recruitment coordinator's experience? It's five huh? years of experience. Okay, great, five years of experience, excellent. 
Now question number three. When does the recruitment coordinator work? Work on weekdays, work part-time. Okay, he works on weekdays, but only part-time. Very well. Now, these questions, if you notice, coordinator, coordinator, coordinator. We're going to go uh, to work like this. You're going to ask the questions. For example, Miss Esteli, you are going to replace the word coordinator and you ask the question to one classmate. For example, what does, oh, not here, here also, okay? Because we're going to change this part. What does the talent management consultant do? Or what does the human resources generalist do? Or what does the benefit specialist do? Okay. And you say the name of the classmate that is going to answer your question. Okay. You choose your victim. Eduardo. Eduardo, which Edward? And which Edward? ¿Cuál es Eduardo? Porque tengo varios Eduardo. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm looking for um, Eduardo Flores. Okay, Mr. Flores, because I have Oscar Eduardo, I have Eduardo Flores, uh -huh, and then others. Mr. Flores, Edward Flores? No. Edward, what does the human resource generalist do? What does? Yeah, this is the first question. What does the human resources generalist do? What does he do? Uh, he does maintain knowledge of legal requirements and he does response, response to inquiries regarding policies. 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 Produces and programs. Okay, thank you so much. Now, question number two. Remember, you are going to replace recruitment coordinators, okay? And you are going to use talent management consultant or benefit specialist, okay? Or the human resources generalist experience. What is the blah, blah experience? Now I'm going to ask uh, to, um, to address the question. Mm, let me see from the, from the list. Maybe it's ready for the question. Yvonne? Here. Okay, question number two, but you replace recruitment coordinators, okay? Okay. What is the uh, recruitment? No. <laughs> Talent management or human resources generalist? Okay, what is the human resource generalist? Experience. Uh, Five years experience no, in similar position. You have to ask the question. You don't have to answer. Usted tiene que hacer la pregunta. Alguien más le va a contestar. Okay, ask the question. Okay. Haga la pregunta. What is the human research generalized experience? And the question goes to? ¿Quién va a contestar? Mm. You choose your victim. Um, Sonia Esmeralda. <laughs> Sonia. <laughs> Sonia, what is the uh, human resource yes. generalist uh, experience? Um, repeat, please. What What is the human resource general generalist? Experience. 
Mi experiencia general. Not yours, Miss. The human resource generalist. Ah. Um, um, organ, or you have here the information, Miss. Here is the answer. Five years. Five wow. years, Miss. You Five years. Oh. You need to be paying attention. Okay, Miss Miss Carla. Miss Minero, are you there? Yes. Carla Minero. Okay, you ask question number three. But remember, you have to replace the recruitment coordinator by talent management consultant and you say the name of the classmate who is going to answer okay okay when does the talent management consultant work okay okay the question is for... no let's go teacher okay when does the talent management consultant work when does the talent management consultant work? And the question goes to? Um, David. David? David. David, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, the answer is? When does the talent management consultant work? Number two. Okay, this is the answer. On Saturday, you need to be paying attention, class. Okay, because otherwise mm -mm, it is not okay. going to work. And I have one question. Okay, I have one question, class. <laughs> and the, the, look at Edwin and Saul's face. Okay, the question is for Miss Maritza Elizabeth. Maritza, necesito que quede conmigo después de la clase, ¿ok? For the rest of the class, bye-bye, continue working on the platform. Bye-bye, have a good night. Thank you for joining. You did a great effort. Congratulations, because there was a lot of vocabulary, a lot of information today, and yesterday too. I had a quarrel of my little things. Have a good night. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, no, Maritza se queda acá. Ay, ya no quieren ir ahí. Another picture you said. Bye bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Continue working on the platform. Okay. Bye bye, David. Bye bye, Susan. Bye bye, uh, Jennifer, Beatriz. Bye bye, Oscar. Bye bye, Andre. Andre, work on the platform. Trabaja en la plataforma, Andre. The same as Oscar Humberto. Go and work on the platform. Okay, Miss, here we go. Games. Veamos, algo que no haya comprendido de esta información, Miss Maritza. Eh, no, sí la comprendí. Nada más que a veces me cuesta un poco la pronunciación. ¿no? Ajá, entonces eso vamos a practicar, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ok, so you listen to me and later you read. Recruitment okay. coordinator, bachelor's degree, organizes schedules of candidate interviews, opens and post requisitions, coordinates internal and internet job positions, has a degree in management, works with and supports a recruiting team, has five years of experience, works on weekdays, works part-time. Now you read it. Okay. Recruitment coordinator. Okay. Bachelor degree. Organize the schedule of, of candidate interview. Open and post requisition. Coordinate internet and internet job posting, mm -hmm. 
has a degree in management, works with and support a security team, has five years of experience, works on weekdays, works part-time. Very well. Now repeat after me. Re requisitions. Requisition. Recruiting. 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 Okay, very well. Now, listen to the teacher on the following, okay? okay. Now we're going to read benefit specialists. Bachelor's degree develops and maintains competitive, progressive, and proactive compensation plans, creates cost-effective benefit programs to provide motivation, incentives, and rewards for effective performance, works on weekdays, part-time job, three years of experience in this position. Now you. Benefit specialist, bachelor degree, develop and maintain competitive, progressive and proactive compensation plans, create cost effective benefit programs to provide motivation, incentive, and reward for effective performance. Work on weekdays, part-time job, three years of experience in this position. Excellent. Only repeat after me. Compensation. 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 Sanction, no. Compensation. Compensation. Es que no diga tensation, no. Compensation. Ok. Compensation. Mire, mira, usted le agrega una N acá después de la A y no solo es acá. Compensation. Ok, say it. Compensation. Ok, a little bit better, but it worked. Now, listen to me. Talent management consultant, bachelor's degree, responsible for leadership development, career development, assesses performance, learning, and development, works on Saturday, full-time job. One year of experience. Now you. Talent management consultant. Bachelor degree. Responsible for leadership development. Career development. Assesses performance. Learning and development. Work on Saturday. Full-time job. One year of experience. Okay, repeat after me. Career. Career. Okay, excellent. Career. Career development. Um, Career development. Um, Career development. Great. And now, human resources generalist. Human resources generalist. Bachelor's degree maintains knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Response to inquiries regarding policies, procedures, and programs. Works on Saturday, part-time job. Five years of experience in similar positions. You. Human resources 
general. Bachelor degree. Maintenance knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Re respond to inquiries regarding policies, procedures, and programs. Work on Saturday, part-time job, five years of, of experience in similar positions. Very well. Repeat after me, Miss. Requirements. 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 Procedures. Procedures. Okay, very well. Now, let's read this conversation, okay? I am Mr. Chang and you are Dorian. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see, and could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provided she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, now let's switch. You are Mr. Chang and I am Dorian. You begin. Okay. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay. He returns at one o'clock. And now here. Hmm. Okay. We're going to skip that because it's so long and you're going to get up. You know? So on this conversation, I am Celia and you are Marcos. Yeah? Okay. okay. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, yes. reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, now we switch. Um, You are Celia and I am Marcos. You okay. begin. Good morning, Marco. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Oh, yes. I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Yeah. 
here. Just the usual. Yeah. Just the usual checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, I need you to repeat after me, please. Um, I rescheduled. I rescheduled. I rescheduled. I rescheduled. I rescheduled. I rescheduled. Excellent. Because this is past tense, okay? Uh, another one. Minutes. Minutes. Minutes, plural. Minutes. With S at the end. Minutes. Minutes. Excellent. Great. Okay, Miss, thank you for giving me your time. I appreciate your time. Have a good night, sweet dreams, and see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good bye -bye. night. Bye-bye, Miss. Take care. Bye -bye. Have you. a good night. Bye.